Hi, I'm Mayor David Black and welcome to City Happenings. The Police Department's Crime Prevention Unit continues its community awareness by giving robbery prevention tips to local businesses. And another step is taken at the First Street Plaza as trees are planted. Warner Park hosted the Bob Gibson Heritage Project's unveiling of a statue in honor of the Hall of Fame Major League pitcher. Thanks, Mayor Black. The city's police department sponsored a robbery prevention seminar for local businesses. This, I think, is a huge factor for Papillion. Um, I not only work in Papillion, but I live in Papillion. I take my yeah. child out and about in Papillion. Mm -hmm. So I not only want the community safe, but I want to be able to go out in the community and, and be safe. And my loved ones and my family and my friends and my coworkers, I want everyone in Papillion to be able to remain safe. Um, and I think all of us think we're in Papillion. That'll never happen in Papillion. There's cops everywhere in Sarpy County, but the unthinkable does happen sometimes. And so we want our local businesses to be prepared um, what to do and how to remain safe. Um, my biggest thing is keeping people safe. So I want everybody to know what they can do to keep themselves and their friends, their employees, and their coworkers safe in, in, in case of the unthinkable. I think a lot of people think that the police are only there when bad things happen. Mm -hmm and the police are just there to be mean and they're not there to help. That, that's our primary job here in Papillion is to keep people safe and to be there to help. Talked about things to do to prevent um, robberies coming in. Um, keep your businesses well lit. Um, to cooperate if anyone does come in. Um, how to keep themselves and their employees and customers safe. First Street Plaza continues its progress. Trees were recently planted. It's, it's going to be a very, very nice downtown destination site for, for people who uh, live in Papillion, but also people who are, are coming down to Papillion to shop and, and uh, eat downtown. Uh, we're also uh, looking at uh, further uh, doing the landscaping this spring with, with more plants, more trees. Uh, not to that size, but, uh, but very nice stock nonetheless. Uh, but you're right, uh, when you see uh, those big trees go in like that, it makes an instant impact on the area, it really does. Anytime you have a downtown setting, and, and, and what you have seen over the number of years with the downtown renovations that have occurred, uh, a, a large effort in Nebraska has been made to soften up and to shade our streets, our busy streets, and our streets that are uh, very heavily traveled. Uh, with that being said, uh, to move big trees in like we did at the First Street Park to make that instant impact to soften up those uh, cement areas, uh, those hardscape areas, uh, it's, it's been widely encouraged uh, by many, many people and organizations to continue. Uh, so when you see us planting a lot of trees downtown along 84th Street uh, to uh, supplement the flower beds we have down there, there really is a, a means to an end uh, to that process. And it's to soften up areas, it's to provide shade, it's to provide cooling uh, to a downtown area that uh, without that would, would stay fairly hot and, and fairly uh, uh, sunbaked uh, throughout the summer. The Bob Gibson Heritage Project unveiled a statue of the Hall of Fame Major League pitcher. The Werner Park ceremony brought out baseball's commissioner, Governor Dave Heineman, former teammates, even Warren Buffett. This is very wonderful. I, 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 I'm said before that uh, baseball has provided me with a, with a wonderful life. I, I've met a lot of wonderful people. Uh, I got inducted into the Hall of Fame and I didn't think that things could ever get any better. But it's getting better by the day. And I, I really appreciate the support that I've gotten from the people in Omaha, uh, the support that I've gotten from Major League Baseball, uh, Commissioner, President, uh, not President, the CEO of the St. Louis Cardinals. I'm, I'm happy and proud to say I'm still involved with the St. Louis Cardinals, so it's nice to see my boss come here. <laughs> I, uh, I, I have never lost for words, but uh, today I'm, I'm kind of lost for words. And uh, if the next couple of hundred years of my life have been as much fun as this, I'm going to really have a nice time. Thank you all for coming. I think it's a big event for everybody connected uh, with baseball, uh, everybody who knows anything about Omaha, 
and I, not that I do, but I do know that, uh, that their son, Bob Gibson, uh, is one of my best friends, and it was a privilege to have caught him for 13 years. First of all, being together with Bob Gibson is special. It always is special, whether you're having dinner or having a celebration like today. I mean, this, this was, uh, this is recognition. Um, you know, Bob Gibson, all he did was play baseball. Um, you know, he never asked to be famous or popular. He was asked to do a job, and that's what he's done his, his whole 17 years. It's his total commitment and uh, pitch with a great deal of pride, and this is emblematic of, uh, of the recognition that he deserves. I mean, to me, uh, you'd like these youngsters today, uh, even though they never saw Bob Gibson pitch, know what he represented. And uh, I, I think this, uh, uh, you know, this statue is, is certainly there for everybody to, to, to look at in awe. We appreciate everyone who participated in the spring cleanup last week. This is one of the most popular city-sponsored events and we're happy that so many of our residents take advantage of it and help keep our community clean. There are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. And of course, information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the mayor's hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.